fulfilled my skincare routine. I recently switched up my skincare routine about a month ago and my skin has never been as clear as this. So I thought I would film everything that I've been using to help get my skin as clear as what it is. I've noticed I've hardly been having any breakouts so it's definitely changed for the better. So I thought I would show you everything that I use. I'm going to try and do them in kind of groups of what they are and how I use them. So I will start off with how I wash my face or what I wash my face with. The first product is one that everybody seems to love and that is the Garnier Micellar Water. As you can see it's just a water kind of product. This changed my routine an awful lot. I remove my makeup with this first at night. I just use little like cotton pads, put it on there and wipe my makeup off with it. It even removes eye makeup. It's probably the best eye makeup remover I found. It smells, well, there's no smell really to it. And a big bottle like this lasts ages. It says 400ml equals 200 uses. I don't know if that's true or not. I'd probably say that this lasts me around two to months, maybe a bit longer. I'm not sure, but like I said, this is definitely the best makeup remover that I found to date. I then go on to wash myself wash myself, wash my face with the Nivea Daily Essentials Refreshing Cleansing Mousse which looks like this and it is a liquid, as you squirt it out it turns into a mousse and I find this is definitely nice and soft on my skin. This one is for normal and combination skin. I think you can also get one for dry skin but this definitely, it feels, once I've washed my face with it, it feels really smooth and I just love this face wash. I was using the simple version of this and then I found it kind of irritated my skin after a while. So I've gone on to this one and I've never looked back. I definitely prefer washing my face with a kind of like mousse face wash. I just find they work better for my skin. A newer one I have also started using is a toner. Toner is something that I stopped using for about two years just because I thought, oh, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't work. When, in fact, I should really be using one. Especially if I want my skin to look good when I'm in my 50s, I need to start using one. So I picked up the Clearasil Daily Clear Deep Cleansing Toner. And it looks like this. This one I got from Boots. The only thing I don't like about it is probably the smell. It does smell a little like chemically, if that's a word. Which smells of chemicals in a way. It's not too strong, it just has a hint. And then once you've applied it, the smell does disappear. So I can put up with that. And it says that it tightens pores and clearer skin every day. I'd say it definitely tightens up my pores. I find I'm not as oily in that. I mainly have pores like here, here and here. I sound like an air hostess. But yeah, I mainly have pores like not on my forehead. So it's not really my T-zone. It's mainly around my nose and then just in the inner corners. And I find this has helped massively. So this is definitely a toner that's worth a buy. On to moisturisers. I find with my skin... I have to switch up moisturisers probably every four weeks. I go between two, so I use one for a month, then go to the other one, because I find my skin gets so used to one, then I'll start getting breakouts again and it won't work. So if I switch, it kind of, I've noticed a balance and that I don't really get breakouts. The one that I've been using for quite a long time is the Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturiser and it's oil free. And this moisturiser is perfect. It's just amazing. It says it's moisturises and health prevent spots and blemishes UK's number one clear skin brand and I find it definitely does help like I said because my skin gets used to one so if you've noticed your moisturiser is not working as well anymore just get another one and switch between the two and I found that balance works perfectly on my skin so after a month of using this one I go on to this Garnier Pure Active Matte Control Anti Shine Anti Blemish Moisturiser it's a lot of a smaller bottle, as you can see, the size is completely different. In this one you get 100ml and this one's 50 so it is half the size. But the Garnier one does cost double the price of the Clean and Clear one. I think this one was around £7, which is quite a lot compared to the Clean and Clear one only being around £4, £3. But this stuff really does work well. And like I said, it's the Garnier Pure Active. This is the matte one. I have oily skin if you haven't guessed by now. Well, it's more combination skin now. I find I get dry patches here around kind of where my pores are, which is a bit strange. But then again, 
I'm just dealing with it. So I find these two moisturisers together, switch them up, work perfectly. I have started doing a night treatment as well because I was just applying my normal moisturiser but then I thought well I need to kind of switch it up. So I picked up this product from the body shop and it is the Tea Tree Blemish Fade Night Lotion. So I wash my face as normal and then apply this before bed. Since using this I don't think I've had one breakout and I've used this around four weeks now. Not one breakout anywhere which that is amazing for my skin. I'm very breakout prone around my chin area that is where I get all my spots I wish I got them on my forehead I could hide them but no they're always on the chin but since you like I said using this stuff it's amazing it does smell very strong of tea tree so if you don't like the tea tree smell I'd stay away from this but if you can put up with the smell it definitely works on your skin and since using it I have noticed a difference in my blemishes they're not as like in your face anymore they're kind of like a bit more dull but this stuff is perfect. I think it's around £10 a bottle for 30 mil, but I've had this well over a month now and it's still going. This is definitely, definitely the best skincare product I've tried. Then I have another one which I was actually sent to review a couple of months ago now, but it's perfect. I've not been using it as much recently because I do mainly use it when I have breakouts. And it's the Australian Body Care Tea Tree Oil Blemish Stick, and it looks like this. And then if I unscrew it, you get your little kind of like roll on deodorant -y type applicator but this again smells quite strong of tea tree but if you have a breakout apply this and your breakout mine were gone within like two days which is amazing because my breakouts i find when i get one they kind of stay they don't go then when they do go they come up in the same place again so when i use this they didn't it's amazing i think it's about five pound on feel unique I will leave all links below for you, but this one and the Tea Tree Night Lotion are just amazing products. The last two I have are weekly mask treatments that I do, both completely different. The first one is mainly for my pores and it's called Scrub Your Nose In It by Soap and Glory. And it kind of looks like this big, the way I describe it is a toothpaste tube because it's quite squishy, it's not a solid. The product is for oily combination skin. As it is said, scrub your nose in it. It's mainly for the pore area. It's a bright kind of blue liquid. If I can open that up, you can just see the top. And it's bright blue. You rub it in. It smells quite minty, so it does have that toothpaste kind of smell as well. But once you're rubbing that in, I think... Let me have a look. It says, on all pores, apply a small dollop. It does say dollop. Or scrub your nose in it to a damp T-zone. Massage in circular motions and leave on for two minutes and then rinse well and then moisturise. I do this probably one to every two weeks and I just do it in my pore area like it says and I find it helps. And then another one which isn't for my pores but I just find for my skin it works well and it's the Body Shop Warming Mineral Mask and it looks like this. This I've only had for about three weeks but it's oh it feels like you're in a spa. It really does. It says self-warming, deep cleansing, something clay treatment kaolin i don't know but yes this one as soon as you put that on your fingers it goes hot which is i've never known a mask to do that so when i rub that in i think this one it says leave for five minutes use once or twice a week and i use this probably every sunday night like i said the scrub your nose in it i'll probably use it every two and then i use this one every week and it really does refresh the skin makes it feel alive again and it hasn't made me break out so that's a bonus they are all the products I'm currently using at the moment. If I really had to recommend one, it would be the Tea Tree Night Lotion. This one, it's just, I found that this is the one that's helped my skin the most. It's just amazing, the fact that I have no breakouts. And yes, it might be because of all the products I'm using. But all of those products, since putting all these together, I've not had one breakout in like the past three weeks. Which that is amazing for my skin, because I get breakouts every week. Especially on the chin, like I said. So if you have, they're not all for oily skin, some are for dry skin or I'll list them down below, the ones for oily, the ones for both, the ones for dry, just because like mine's a bit of a mixture. But they're everything that's made my skin the clearest I think I've ever had it since high school. Like I said, I'm acne prone, I'm just oily, so if you need new product, definitely check some of those out. But as I said, that's the one for today. I have also filmed another video today, my iPhone case collection, which involves Disney, princessy, glitter, 
everything girly so that will be up in a couple of weeks maybe or next week I'm not sure so keep your eyes peeled and I will see you guys next week bye